I hope you're feeling positive because this is the introverted positive. Uh, to the bravest we wish to. Blah, 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 blah. I just realized. You have overcome many challenges thus far, and allow me to. <laughs> this is going great. This is a great start to the episode. I <laughs> returned the Sheikah slate to the terminal you first obtained it from. Again, apparently. Oh, that weapon's there. Do so, and the final passageway will reveal itself. Anyway. I hope you're feeling positive because this is the introverted positron and welcome back to Time to Try where we are playing The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild and we are doing the Champion's Ballad. Um, now today we are going to finish the Champion's Ballad. This should be the finale for basically the series at this point. So I'm curious to see how this goes. Oh, I'm excited to see how this ends. The final door has been closed? Sending, please beware of tremors. Apparently we're descending. Shoot a fire arrow into the bomb into a bomb barrel to make it explode. Tossing a burning weapon at one works too. <laughs> Surprisingly, yep. Yeah. Also throwing one. With enough force, we'll also do it. What in the world could we be going to now? Door opens. Final challenge is revealed. Whoa. Huh. It is a divine beast. At least it feels like one. Welcome, hero. You have overcome many trails to reach me. It's time to face the final trial. Okay. This trail is a complex labyrinth. To start, you will need a map. Okay. You may obtain map information from the Guidance Stone. Okay. This is more than I was expecting. Okay. In other words, that's done. Alright. Um, let's go get that map. I'll use the Master Sword as much as I can for the moment. Uh, yeah, getting the map information. Boom. Oh, it looks like it, uh, I can also rotate it. Divine Beast controls have been enabled. How am I in a Divine Beast? Really didn't want me to get it. Hmm. I can control the divine beast now as well. It does look like it's four terminals again, which is kind of unfortunate in some ways. The way it looks though is interesting. I think it's actually relatively simple in regards to the controls. So all I, th all I think I'm really rotating is the center part. Huh. 
Ha. It's definitely interesting. Yeah, so somehow we gotta get this whole thing to rotate. And I also have to solve the puzzle in here. Ah. Uh, so... There has to be some way of rotating this. It's definitely way different than what I was expecting. Let's go explore other places because it doesn't look like I can do much there yet anyway. The whole point of being able to rotate the places I can do stuff like this. So let's go do this and then we'll see what we need after that. here. I don't know what the point of it is, but I made it up here. This is interesting. Still don't know the point of everything yet. This feels like definitely feels like a complex uh, puzzle though. Hmm. Interesting. I only kind of know what's going on. I'm just trying to put pieces together. This is very weird. And I've been really silent because I'm trying to figure it out. I don't admit I was disappointed at first when it said it was going to be... When I realized it would be another Divine Beast. But, uh... Definitely different. 
can't quite understand all the pieces yet. Okay, now that should have that room turning. That's what my guess is. Okay, so let's solve each one of these puzzles because these all have something to do with this. So I just need to pause it in front of the chest. Wow, that was pretty bad. Pretty close though. Almost there. Ah. Okay, I'm not gonna bother. Not right now. Oh, that actually freezes everything. That's kind of funny. Good to know. So. I control that. Where does it go? Oh, okay, that makes sense. Alright. And then I insert into the other side to rotate the other direction. So now when I go in here, yeah, everything's actually rotating a bit. Yeah, the trick. Is, uh, connecting that into that. Is the next step. Okay, yeah. And I need to rotate the rest of the room to get that done. So... In that case then... What I need to do is I need to do this twofold. So I need to pause the room where I can um, access it, so that'll be at the bottom. Okay, so I just need to make sure I'm pushing out. This is very interesting. Um, hopefully we can do this an hour. In an hour. Otherwise, this is not going to be so much the wolf finale.
Oh, wait. Can I not then? Okay, good. It seems to work okay. I need to get out of its way for the moment. But it seems to work okay, so I should be able to get this on if I'm just fast enough and whatnot um, after this point, so... Oh boy. <laughs> this is way harder than I would like it to be. But once I get this connected up... Wait, where am I actually supposed to connect this? Because I thought it was up there. When does that line up with that? Um, at this point, okay. Oh! Oh, okay. Now I see. This is simpler than I thought it was. Good! Good. <laughs> Simple is something I'm okay with. So I need to get into that slot there, is the trick. Uh, I just want to get far enough away that I can line this up. Didn't quite work. Uh, okay. Yeah, there's one door at least. I don't know if there's a second one. I don't think there is. No, definitely isn't. So somehow, I need to stop everything at that moment. Is that possible? No, I don't think it is. Come on! All it has to do is fit in here, it's just annoying trying to get it in. But I can't see any other way to freeze everything. Otherwise I would literally just freeze everything. Is that rotating incorrectly? No. I'm just imagining things. Okay. I need to find a way to deal with this. It's not exactly what I meant. Yeah, so there really is just the one door. Wait. No, there's two doors. That is totally it. Okay, problem solved.
I just need to pull, the, pull this in at the right moment. So when that door lines up, I pause this gear, I pull out the metal bit, and then I should be good. But I have to wait for that door to line up. This is taking a while, isn't it? Sorry. Um, one step at a time. Seriously? Uh, I want to make it clear about which door I need to go through. Because that one isn't it. I don't think. If I need to be up here, then I need to be up here. That's okay. I can't believe that that's... Okay, so it's that one, the one that's above the one that's not currently inserted, so that's perfect. It's perfect. Okay. So, let's continue this. Get on here. So, currently, that's the door I... Um, I think that was actually the door I do want. Yeah, that's totally the door I do want. Okay. So just get it lined up, get it in. Do it and be done with it. No, that's wrong. It is the other door. Shoot. Now I have to wait again. What's with this dust? Here it comes. I just need to line up with the bottom and then I can take it out. Boom. Okay. No. I really hate this. This is this is honestly just really annoying.
why why would they force me to do it this way? Especially when that's definitely it. You know what? Maybe it isn't. Let's assume for a second that... Nope. Wait. But I can't improve it. I pull it out and put it into the other one. Then that will actually improve it. Because then I can pull it out easily enough without having to do what I've been trying to do. coming up is the one I want. Close, anyway. Wait. Does the direction of the rotation... No. It shouldn't matter in that regard. Yeah, I got this messed up anyway. I just spent a ton of time on something that doesn't actually matter. Isn't this amazing? I'm just gonna push it all the way. See what happens. Okay. Okay, you know what? I finally understand what I actually need to do. I now feel very, very dumb. Because once again, I've overcomplicated things. So all I need to do is stand on this so I can get up there and grab that piece, because that's the missing piece to getting this all figured out. Well, that went well. Uh, I just need this again. Okay. Sorry, I have not been doing great at commentary or the puzzles or the game in general, so I do apologize for that. Okay, now I've got it. Um, so now all I have to do is insert it here. And then... You know what? That does it. That's all I needed to do. Although, I guess if I start rotating in the other direction, it's going to take a little bit to actually start rotating in the correct direction. But, uh... You know what? I, I can live with that. Line up 
No, it doesn't really look like that should work, to be honest. Oh yeah, I also need to line up for that reason. Yeah, I don't think that fits. And that doesn't come out, so... I think something else needs to go in there. Before it'll actually fit into that. I think it might even be that. Uh, so let's try this again! Woo! Maybe I'm missing something. May even be on the other side, I don't know. I doubt it, but... Doesn't mean that's the case. Okay. So... What I do need to do is, um, I guess check the other side just in case, but that really doesn't look like it's going to fit in there. I think that's just a chest. I think. Yeah, it's just a chest. Could have been something exciting, but no, it's just just a treasure chest. Ah, I'm so close to you. Okay. We'll come back to this one. At least I got it partially solved and I'm not, like, doing random things anymore, which is good. That's all I need to do is wait. But yeah, those definitely don't connect without another piece, so I have no idea what to do. For now, though, let's move on to a different room. So I also got that rotating. So, there's someone in there that I can go check out, so I might as well go check that out. Oh, that's 30 minutes of time already wasted on this. I'll, I'm gonna try to make this the finale anyway, just because that's the way I built this up. Well, let's see. That and we're not that far away. I know I haven't activated any terminals yet, but I'm finally starting to piece together exactly what this place is like. It was not, I was not expecting anything like this. It's good, actually. I'm a little annoyed just because I'm, like, not solving it quick as uh, as fast as I'm used to, but that's okay. Because that's all part of challenging yourself sometimes. Yeah, let's just wait for the door. And there we go. Alright, so if I fly, I'm going to go into that. So gliding is currently not an option. Well, I mean, at least I know that works now. Okay, well, apparently that's protecting it. <laughs> so that's just going across. Huh. Actually, the trick would be to get everything to rotate the other direction. So let's get past it for a second. Let's 
so I mean then that's done. But that may also be a hint. Every one of these is definitely odd. Hmm. If I try to fly in here right now, I'll go straight into that. What else do I have? Magnesis, Cryonis, Bombs. Uh... Hmm. It's weird not having regular arrows. Oh. There's something up that's the terminal. Way to time it. Yeah, I realized a little too late that that's what it was that that was about to happen. Um, and yeah. Again, there's something in here I'm missing. Because I can actually use that gust of wind to get over there, for instance. But I don't have... I feel like there's things in this room that I'm missing, like a way to get over there. Oh, that does control that. The one thing so far that seems to be functioning okay. It's making me wonder though. Is oh, right. I can force it to go in the other direction. There we go. Now I'm getting it. Okay. Okay. I get it now. So I can get this terminal at the very least now. Um, now I can reverse the direction again. Then I stasis that. And fly over to the terminal. Done. Okay. You know what? That's better. One door locked, deactivated. Three left, and then we'll be able to access wherever we're going. <laughs> there are three terminals remaining. Okay, let's get out of here. Door's right there, so I should be able to get out of here in just a minute. So I got that one solved, now I just have two left. Okay, er, two left, three left. I'll do the one across next if I can. Although I still haven't figured out everything in regards to this. So for instance, I still have no idea what this does. Yeah, it definitely feels like it should be a piece of this. Oh, that was one of the locks, wasn't it? Okay, so in other words, I don't need to use that until the end. Wait, why are there more... Yeah, okay. Done. Okay, I'm done. Let's get some ancient springs and stuff and... 
uh, move on to the next part. Okay. <laughs> Wait for the door to come around, and I guess I'm gonna do this one next. I'll do the one across last, just because of how much trouble I've had with it so far. So, I mean, when we get to it, we get to it. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> I mean, it's clear that if I try to walk across that as it is, it's going to throw me into the lava. But, there's an easy fix to that. I'm starting to learn how this place works. Now this should get me across. And made it. Okay. Now what does this do? I'm guessing. No, I have no idea. Oh. Okay. Yeah, so. Obviously what it needs to do is it needs to get in there. I don't think the direction is... No, the direction is rotating does matter. If that goes in there... Yeah, I need to rotate it the other direction. Yeah, it's even changed colors. So when it goes... It's because of the way it rotates around. Because I need that to come out um, on top of here, which is fine. Yeah, that should do it. Um, that should rotate down. Compare the way around. No, now if I allow it to continue, it's just going to. Anyway, so let's rotate that around again. Just keep on going. We're just we're just leading the ball out. That is the entire plan. Oh, that should fall through there nicely. And now one more time. Okay, and then that should do it. The ball should be right here waiting for me and then I just have to get back. There you go. That's two terminals solved relatively quickly. It's only the one that's causing me any issues so far. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Terminal number two, two left. As I said, I'm gonna save the one I've been working on, like first for my final project, because there's some there's something about that whole situation that I just don't quite understand, and I don't know what it is. So taking a break from it will hopefully help me to figure out what it is I'm missing, and then I'll go solve it. It's gonna be that simple. All right. Let's get out of here. Every time I come back in here, this room's different. Well, it has different enemies. Like, I think the enemies are getting stronger every time, too. So that's kind of interesting. And different. But mostly interesting. Yeah, now there's a turret. Definitely was not there before. Yeah, it's just, it's gonna die quickly. Ugh.
Okay, next. It's the one on the, f on the, uh, like, left side from here. Okay, here we go. Here. Oh, allow it to be up here and then walk over to the destination, essentially. Alright. Hmm. Apparently I have yet to solve this one. So, what we have here... Something very different from our normal one, that's for sure. should rotate it. But yeah, that's all I need to do. When I get in and then I'm good to go. Wait for it, wait for it now. There we go. Okay. Now this one is interesting. I don't know how it's going to involve the rotating mechanic though. I think if I do this... Yep. Awesome. I do need to be rotating in the other direction though. Because I need to be able to uh, get on top and then get into that door. Alright, see this one I get too. It's just that one. Only one I don't quite understand. Alright. Hmm. More water. That can be definitely frozen. So, I don't see anything really metallic over here. So, if I stasis this for a second and then use the yeah, other stasis. Yeah, okay. Oh no, it reveals the switch. Interesting. Okay. Which I'm guessing is going to open that door. But then that still doesn't answer the question of, uh, how do I get there? Also, I kind of need to go stand over there. Hmm, so what does the switch activate? There's the terminal. Okay. So, Magnesis that out of there. 
Now, if I put it here and then I do this. Interesting. I don't quite know what the point of that was, but interesting. Am I trapped in here now? Is this really how is this really how this ends? Oh. I'm mostly kid. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do some some more, so. And then, like. Let's try it again. Uh, only this time I place the bomb first. I go over here. I use stasis. Switch to the bomb, explode it, no, nothing happens. Okay, it really was that simple. Okay. But what, what's the point of the ball? I mean, I know it's still round. Take another look back in the first part of this room because I don't know what this is for at the moment. Okay, I mean, it would be easy for me to turn the water off. Um, I have a feeling there's just something I missed in the first area that uh, probably answers all my questions. And if it doesn't, it doesn't. I just need to do something. Hmm. Almost at an hour as it is, but this might go a little bit longer. I think I, I think I might know something. It's kind of funny that it recharged the water, though. I legitimately was not expecting that result when I did that. <laughs> one in the other room and then we're done. When we're done with this place and then we get to see what's gonna happen next. Yeah, at this point I kind of suspect. It has something to do with over here. Anyway, let's do this again.
Oh, I also never got that. Wait, there's another one? There's another ball. Why are there two? I need to turn it twice. Okay, can you please stop doing that? Okay. Um, yeah, I need to turn it twice. Because once, I turned it up to the point where I was up there, but what if I turn it again, and then instead of being um, that high, it's even higher. Let's do this. Unless that was just a single ball, in which case I feel dumb. It may have just been a single ball. Alrighty then. Now I just feel dumb. But I get this feeling that that's, that that's it. I just need to use Cryonis. Why, why is it always Cryonis? I already solved it. <laughs> I can't believe I already solved it. Uh, that's the worst. Boom. What's that? I get Cryonis ready. Because guess what? Now I can climb up there. That's why it's set up this way. Oh boy. Definitely have my moments today. Okay. Uh. Okay, let's do it. Oh. Yeah, yeah, she can slay defendicated. One lock remaining. I have no idea what's gonna be waiting for me in that room though. Because these enemies keep on getting stronger. to the last room. Okay. What I have to stop doing is treating it like it's unsolvable, because it's solvable. I just need to figure out what I'm doing wrong here. So, what I have are two pieces. I have this piece, which definitely isn't built to fit that inside of it. And that's pretty much it. So that's that's where I'm getting confused. Is that I don't see how I can solve this puzzle given what I currently know. Right, I understand that I need to connect those two pieces. That's not the issue. Uh, the issue... is that I have been treating this wrong the entire time. Because I think, I think, what I have to do is actually have to connect this up there now. Okay. I think I get it. I think I actually get it this time. So, I magnetically attach that to that, and then everything should start spinning. I don't know why I need to attach the other part yet, 
but I'm sure there's a reason. No, it's too low. Okay, so that's not it. That's okay. I just need to try things. I'll get it eventually. That does rotate everything. So as much as it isn't where I want things to be, it does open things up. So now I can do things over on this side. I just don't know what to do. Because the solution to this is to connect these two together. That, that's, that's the solution to this whole puzzle. Currently though, I can only get it like this. And that's as far as it goes. So unless... The one that pulls out... No, because even that's too big for that hole. So what am I missing? What is it that I'm doing wrong that it wants me to do? And trust me, I'm like 90% sure it's something really, really easy and stupid. But I just need to figure this out. Because I've been spending so much time on just trying to figure it out. So, let's do this. All of that in mind, so I know, I know what the end result is. I know what I need to do to solve this and get through. That's not the issue. The issue is doing it. Wait, 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 wait. You don't think it's that simple, do you? So that I'm just rotating it from the wrong side? That is exactly what it is. And everything makes sense. Alright, the end. <laughs> this was way easier to solve than I made it to be. Terminal open. Done. Let's go win this. <laughs> I could have finished this so much sooner. This was not that hard. I had this moment of, wait a second. It's a little more offset than I would expect it to be. Oh no. <laughs> That's simple. Just rotate it in the other direction and done. Okay. Alright. Because most of them required you to do that. Actually, I think every single one of them required you to switch the direction at some point. Okay. Let's go do this. I have no idea what to expect. But that's fine. Still looking forward to it. Okay, I know there's still that scout up there. Of course, I don't know if it disappeared after I unlocked everything. I don't see any sign of it at the moment. Oh, there it is. I don't need it, I don't need it. No, I need it. Okay. Okay. Anyway. And now it's simple because all I gotta do is just rotate this. Just wait for it to line up and then push it in. Should line up in just a second. There we go. <sighs> Seems rather simple. Alright, I'm gonna go collect those guardian pieces before I move on. Ah, 
Ah, uh, never mind. Let's just go do this. We're so close to the end now. What do we have in store is the question. You have proven to possess the power of a true hero. In the name of the goddess Hylia. What? What's about to happen? I offer this final trial. Okay. Where am I going? I feel like I've been here before. Nope. This is new. Definitely an arena. This is definitely a boss fight. But what am I fighting? Really? Let us begin. Okay. Whoa. Okay. Cool. I like it. I'm hoping to parry that, but that's okay. Okay, now things actually get difficult. Okay. What? And... Okay, there has to be a way to tell the difference. It's the one who's keeping a distance. Okay, you're doing okay. Surprisingly, I'm doing okay. Yeah, it's usually something like this. Yeah, I see him over there. Nope, that wasn't him. Surprisingly. First one to take initiative on that one. I don't know if there's something I'm missing in terms of being able to tell who it is, but whatever, it seemed to work out. Okay, next phase. He's getting bigger now. This is really cool. This is like an actual like multi-phased fight that's really interesting. Although this looks threatening. <laughs> Also, kind of looks familiar. Uh, 
Ah, it is quite similar to that, eh? Yes, that's what I need to do. Okay, it's actually pretty similar to uh, Thunderblight in that regard. Okay. Great! Thanks for that. You just destroy it. I haven't done any damage since this be oh shoot. Uh Woot. Oh, it is that simple. I just haven't been hitting him. That's what I was trying to do last time. <laughs> All right, bomb arrows. Thanks. Alright, so we're going to do this again. Ooh, golden bro broke. Which is, again, fine. Come on, what are you going to do next? I messed that up. I have not been doing great in this fight. Come on. I love you. Ow. Is that really necessary? Ow. Okay, that's getting annoying. Wait, what? This is really cool, by the way. I really wish I didn't have to use two protection to do that, but that's okay. We won! That was really fun! <laughs>
Whew. Oh, that's it. That, I'm guessing, is the champion's ballad. You face that challenge with great courage. You have erased all doubt from my mind. You are a true hero. Yeah, you are a true hero. As such, you were destined to take hold of this ancient masterpiece. What the? Okay, what's going on right now? <laughs> yeah, so yeah, that is the end part of it. See how they kind of spoiled that in the in the trailer. It would have been so much fun to see that for the first time going through this. Oh well. Okay. Then boom. We have one final rune. Master Cycle Zero. Insert materials into the tank to convert them into fuel. You can freely call upon this item, but summoning it will not work in certain areas. Interesting. <sighs> that which you have obtained is a masterpiece of innovation created for the one true hero. Hero of Hyrule. May the goddess smile upon you. Can I just glide down from here? No? Okay. Oh well. Okay. Honestly, that, that was really, really cool. Um, I am still missing a memory, though, so I don't think we're done. I don't think we're done. <laughs> the little motorcycle. I love it. I love it. Here we go. Let's go talk to him. Mm. Ah, it's you. Mm. I can't put my feather on it, but I get the feeling you're even more accomplished than when you were than you were when we last met. I happen to have the perfect song for someone as esteemed as you. I would love to sing it for you. My teacher's unfinished song, the one I told you about. Oh. I finally completed the key verses. Mm. This lofty location is the perfect stage to sing this special, this, special, this special song. It takes place 100 years ago at Hyrule Castle. Yes, the very castle you can still see over yonder. It's about the magnificent, magnificent inauguration of the Chosen Champions. If you would please listen to the special song, The Champion's Ballad. Hmm. And Link will actually be there this time. Thank you for joining me here today, and for your bravery in accepting this fateful task. Mm. I officially appoint you Hyrule's champion, and bestow upon you the this sacred, sacred garb. garb. That blue 
is a symbol of the royal family. One that has been passed down for countless generations. Those garments you now wear were all crafted by my daughter, Zelda. Oh, she made them herself. Zelda. I trust you with the task only a daughter of the royal family can fulfill. Lead our champions, princess. And together, protect our kingdom from the threat of Calamity Ganon. Yeah, that doesn't end up well. <laughs> Go out too well, unfortunately. It's kind of cool seeing a uh, little castle like that. Those formal shindigs really take it out of me. <laughs> this is the Sheikah Slake, eh? It is. Apparently, there are more uses for it than we originally thought. Sadly, we've yet to decipher all of its secrets. The princess showed me something strange recently. Somehow it can create true-to-life images. Mm. Wow. I would love to see it. Um, Princess, may I ask a special favor of you? What could they be asking this time? All right, this spot should work nicely. Oh. Keep your eyes on the Sheikah Slate, everyone. Uh, Daruk, can you crouch down a bit? You're as big as Death Mountain. Huh? Oh. What's with the glum face, princess? Give me a big smile. Huh? Ravali, move your tail closer to the group. <laughs> Fine. Mifa, you look so tense. Deep breaths, okay? Right. <laughs> Stay just like that. Here we go. Smile. Click snap. <laughs> That's a great photo. That's a good moment. I like it. After the ceremony, they would all forever be known as champions. My teacher always advised me to write songs that transport the listener to the moment in time you're singing of. Mm. Now I finally feel I understand what he meant, and the true power of music. Mm. By the way, I found this when I was looking through my teacher's notes. I was thinking, you should be the one to keep it. Mm. Your courageous heart reminds me of the indomitable spirit of the champions. I know you'll treasure it. Picture of the champions. A picture of Zelda and the five champions taking after the inauguration ceremony at Hyrule Castle. Cast gave you this precious item after completing the champions' ballot. Of course, he knows who you are then. Hmm. A final thought. May the souls of the champions who watch over Hyrule rest in peace. watched your journey, every step. You have overcome every challenge with great courage. With the power that you have attained, I am certain you can defeat Calamity Ganon. So am I. True. Certain you can defeat the Clem. Hmm. Just gonna go, uh.
<laughs> this drives pretty easily too. That was weird. I guess the game was trying to keep up with <laughs> with the movement you're moving at currently. This is pretty cool though. Can I actually make this jump before getting hurt? Nope! So that's a reward for completing the Champion's Ballad. So, I believe that's everything. Um, that comment about truly being able to defeat Clement again, I think I'm just overreading too much into it. I feel like it means that if I go do that, something else is going to happen, but I doubt it. I think it's going to be exactly the same. By the way, um, I'll check up on it because if that's the case, and this isn't the finale, I want one more episode where we take down Clement again and again. Ugh. But as things currently stand, we are done with the Champion's Ballad. So I hope you enjoyed that. I had a lot of fun with it. Um, I know I've seen pressure towards the end. That's my fault for uh, for playing through this so quickly. I've just been trying to get it through it because of lots of other things I need to play too. And I've been so excited for this that I just I wanted to get it done. Um, and I knew it wasn't going to be that long, and it wasn't that long. Um, but I hope you enjoyed. This is going to be going on consistently for probably a couple weeks. And then... Um, I'll move back into a more regular schedule with uh, Mario and Zelda. Once Zelda's done, I say once Zelda's done, it's Mario. There's still quite a bit of Mario Odyssey left at this point. Um, but once Zelda's done, we're moving into a new game that I already have selected. And after that, I will finish Half-Life 2. Um, because I need to get back to that, I just need to finish the game. And I already have a bunch of other Let's Plays that are on the go. Um, so honestly, there's no reason for me not to upload to not to upload content in terms of what I've recorded. I just have trouble sometimes finding the time and energy to uh, to edit, but I have the time right now to get um, ahead on that. So hopefully I'll have enough to to get through for the next while. Um, anyway, so thank you so much for joining me on all of this, on everything with Zelda and Breath of the Wild, especially. It was such a great journey to go on. Um, looking back, I wish I shared more of that journey with you. I could have done. Um, more episodes of it, which at the time just wasn't something I really wanted to do. But I'm beginning to realize that I need to be less concerned about how long something is on the channel and just enjoy playing the game. And then you'll enjoy the content more too, at least that's the hope. At the very least, I'll be making content that I'll be happier with when I'm doing stuff more like this, where even though it's longer episodes, I'm just kind of taking my time with it. I'm enjoying the content, I'm going through it, I'm showing as much as I can. And I think that's when I'm at my best. Even if I'm not the best in terms of the gameplay and stuff, it's when I'm at my best in terms of how I feel about all of this. Um, and I'm so thankful that people are, that anybody's here watching this stuff. And I thank you for that. I thank you for, for supporting this effort because this has been an incredibly difficult thing to uphold, but it's also been an incredibly fun and rewarding thing to uphold. Even if it's not necessarily obvious from your end why that is. Um, so yeah, <laughs> thank you so much for joining me for Breath of the Wild. We are pretty much done with it at this point. Um, maybe a bonus point, uh, man, bonus point, bonus episode in the future. We'll see, uh, what I can do about Korok Seeds. If I really get bored of it, I'm just not going to do it. I'm not going to push myself to a point where I hate this game because that wouldn't be good for, <laughs> for my love of this game. Um, I don't want to have anything around this game for me, so I'm not going to do that if I feel like it's going to be too much. But that being said, I'll, I'll, uh, chip away at it. Um, I'll probably start streaming the Master Trials sometime in hopefully the near future. Hopefully, um, I'm planning on trying to get streaming figured out for um, soon, uh, actually. Hopefully it's already happened, but soon if it hasn't already, I'm hoping to have streaming figured out so I can actually uh, stream with you guys, talk with you guys live, and have fun just playing games over on Twitch. Because I've had that account for a while and I want to start using it. Um, anyway, on that note, again, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. It really helps with the channel and it's always appreciated. I'm going to leave some links here so you can go check out some other stuff on my channel or you can always just search the channel. There's lots of stuff for people, playlists and all that stuff. Um, and so on that note, thank you again. Have a great day and remember to keep positive.